What's going on everybody? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we are rocking out with a Palafin team for Regulation Day. Should be fun. We also have Pokemon like Abamaso and Choice Specs Articuno, which pairs up oh so well. And then we got Shen Pao Arcanine and Iron Hands. Should be a very strong team. Should be able to rock out with it and grab some wins for you guys. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, what are you doing? Click that big red subscribe button. Join the Jeans community. Seriously, it goes a long way. Huge shout out to all my subscribers. But our first Pokemon for today's team preview is going to be Iron Hands. Iron Hands has been top tier ever since it's been released into this game or into the competitive scene in Series 2. It has Quirk Drive with the Salt Vest as item, Rocket Ice Punch, Drain Punch, Thunder Punch, and Fake Out. So three punchy moves, Fake Out for flinches. Can't go wrong with that at all. We got Articuno in our second slot, and this Pokemon thrives out in the snow. It has Snow Cloak as its ability, with the Choice Specs as item to make it do some crazy damage. It's got Freeze Dry, Cheer Cold for a one-hit KO move, and then it has Ice Beam and Blizzard. So all snow moves, all ice moves, ready to rip up, especially paired up with that Obama sort of set, that snow. We have Arcanine in our third slot with the Choice Span and Intimidate as its ability. It's got the normal Terror type, so e speak can do as much damage as it possibly can when paired up next to Chen Pao, then his other three moves are Wild Charge, Close Combat, and Flare Blitz. A very solid move set for a Choice Band Arcanine. In our fourth slot, we got Palafin, and Palafin is an absolute monster when it turns into its hero form. It's got Mystic Water with Jet Punch, Haze, Protect, and Wave Crash. Really like that we're running Haze on this Palafin because Haze comes up so clutch, especially when Pokemon are trying to boost up with like Nasty Bot or going up against like Don Dozo teams. It's just super, super convenient to have on the team. We got a Bomb Snow in the fifth slot, and like I already mentioned, it pairs up with Arnakuno perfectly to set that snow, and at the same time, it can be there to control weather throughout games if we're going up against a rain team, or a sandstorm team, or even a sun team. It has Icy Rock as its item with Protect, Ice Shard, Energy Ball, and Blizzard. In our final slot, we're rocking out with Shen Pao, the best legend of Ruin Pokemon for competitive with Swords of Ruin and the Focus Sash as its item. It's got Ice Spinner, Protect, Throat Chop, and Sucker Punch for first turn priority. Guys, you want to rent the team for yourself? Run the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Palafin and Choice Specs Articuno Regulation D team. First match coming at you guys, and we're going up against a nice little Bax Caliber team. He's got Flutter Main. They also have Heatran, and then rocking out with Iron Hands, Intimidate Landers, and Amoonga. So, very cool team. Nothing I'm too scared of. I think we should be able to thrive out fine here. I kind of want to lead the Palafin to get things rocking here and put that thing into hero form. Really do like that. So I might just go into Palafin and I might even lead Articuno because I can lead Articuno and hard swap into Abomaso and just set that snow right away, right? That looks really, really good. Then I could just go Shen Pao in the back end. I'm not too scared of a lot of the Pokemon besides Heatran, especially if I go into this squad. But from here, I really think we're thriving with Palafin and Ice type Pokemon. I just really think they rip up into a lot of Pokemon. So I'm all about it. We're going to lock in. All ice Pokemon besides Palafin, water, well, I kind of put water in the in the ice type category, but you guys know what I'm saying. All blue Pokemon are coming in here in match number one. We're ready to thrive out here. Let's like to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But have you guys seen the brand new DLC trailer that uh, the Pokemon company just released? I just watched it on YouTube this morning and it was awesome. They showcased like a bunch of Pokemon, like all the starters are coming back. And they showcase a bunch of cool new moves that are going to change the competitive scene. There's like a new move called Upper Hand which goes before priority moves, which is super convenient considering how priority moves have changed the meta, especially in this series right now. So it's really, really cool. They got some other moves that uh, like uh, the Paradox form of Kabalion has, which is like a double hitting steel type move. And then the Paradox form of Raikou gets its own move too. And then I think they added like another psychic move that prevents healing. Really, really cool. But they also showcase more Pokemon that are coming back in the DLC, which are going to change competitive scenes. So super excited for that. Definitely, I'm super excited for that. But they're going to go back to Calibre and Flutter Main for turn one. And this is just a simple hard swap into the Bomb Snow, right? We hard swap. And from here, I can choice into Blizzard, right? Probably my best bet. Choice specking into it. I could go straight Ice, too, if I want to. But I'm going to keep my Flying type. I like to have my Flying type here. And I'm just going to send a Blizzard across the board. I could have Thrasilized. Thrasilized would not be bad. But I think saving it for my Palafin could be really, really good. Especially late game. So Articuno coming out with the snow. We will get Snow Cloak, which is super, super powerful. We'll get cooking from there. But it's cool to see Articuno actually get some love in any competitive scene. It is cool to actually see that. 
But it's so niche, right? It's like you're only using Articuno with a bomb of snow, and it, it makes sense. We ends up going for Dazzling Gleam. We got the snow out here. We're going to be able to surf pretty well here. The Ice of Crash is going to come over here. That might actually KO me. It does not. We survive. Blizzard is now going to thrive here. It's going to get off some nice damage. So we get off that damage here, and from here, I'm just going to simply protect you. And then go into another Blizzard. Because you're going to go for Dazzling Gleam and try to finish me off. And I'm just going to look to KO the, uh, the Flutterman here. But Dazzling Gleam is going to thrive out here. Can we get a little bit of dodge here? Dodge would be big time. We do not. Snowflake's not coming to clutch. So that pops out here and a Glade Rush might actually finish me off. It is. Smart little double down. Smart little double down out there. But um, now we can bring out our stronger Pokemon. We can bring out Pokemon like uh, Shen Pao. We can go Palafin. And I'm thinking of just going Shen Pao here, right? Let's go Shen Pao. Finish off the Fluttermane. Because Fluttermane's more of a problem. And then we should deal some damage onto back to Calibre. Probably with like an Ice Shard. Right, is that our play, or do I go into like a blizzard? Hmm. I'm gonna try to land a blizzard. I don't think any of these guys have double hitting moves. Except for Fluttermane. Fluttermane is not booster energy, which is big time, because we should be able to outspeed. Actually, we might not be able to. Actually, I'll go for Sucker Punch. How about that? We'll go for blizzard, and we'll go for Sucker Punch. If it ends up withdrawing, wow, we should just went into Ice Spinner. Should have played it safe. Should have just went into Ice Spinner, and they get a free swap on us. The big time swap comes out with Iron Hands. Are they protecting the Bax Caliber? They are not. No protect comes out from Bax Caliber. Ice Shard is going to fly out here and that's okay. The big time swap. Big time swap. Big time swap. So now I'm going to go into Palaf. Pally Pally is going to come out here. We're going to Terrasalize the Shin Bao. It's a real strong start from our opponent. Real strong start. I'm just going to protect you. And I'm just going to terrestrialize you, and I'm going to finish off Bax Calibre here with a nice little third chop. That's going to be my play. Nice little terror type in the ghost blocks us from fighting moves and fake outs from the Iron Hands. And then I can just protect the, uh, the Palf and kind of get after it that way. We'll see what they want to do. But strong start from our opponent. Opponent's playing great. Nice swaps, great moves. Articuno not being able to eat up, and they double down into it, which is a big play. I probably should have seen that coming. So they're going to end up terrestrializing here. Is this going to be Iron Hands? I oh, know, it's me. It is me. It's just me going into Shen Pao. And they still have their Terra. I, they did not terrestrialize yet. So we go in with the Shen Pao Terra here. Are they going to fake me out here? Let's see. Go ahead. Go for a fake out. Don't don't make me waste my Terra for nothing. Yeah, there's the fake out. Cool. Fake out is going in the Palafin, actually. That's fine. Third chop should be able to come out here. Finish off back to the right? Correct? This is not. This thing's able to bulk that shot. And the Glade Rush is actually double down. Into it. Okay, cool. That works for me. That does work for me. And from here, honestly, I kind of just want to try to get rid of you. I could just jet punch you. But I know Wild Charge is coming out here. But I don't think we can do enough damage. But still, I'm going to double down into this thing. Go Ice Spinner. Go wave crash. Maybe back caliber protects this turn. But he might just go for a glade rush here. He's gonna end up terrestrializing. Nice little terror type coming out here from who? From Iron Hands. And what type of you got cooking? Electric. Electric coming out here. He's looking to just one shot my pal then, right? With wild charge. That's why I double down into it, because I know I have to get rid of this thing. So he goes for a ice shard there, that's fine. And we go for an ice spinner in this slot. So ice spinner coming in hot here. Doing about five damage. So bulky. The boy is so bulky. Wave Crash is going to come out here. And that's going to KO. That's big time. Because now we're here. Now we're here. And I could jet punch back Excalibur. I could jet punch back Excalibur. And on top of that, I can sucker punch Fluttermane. Hold up. Wait a minute. Jeans came to play. Jeans came to play. Came to play. He train comes out here. You do not have Terror type, which is enormous. And I think I just out I outspeed him regardless, so I'm gonna go into Wave Crash here. But you might protect, if you protect, you protect, and I'm just gonna sucker punch Max Calibre. Just so we can't get off a nice shard. That's fine by me. The sucker punch comes in here, finishes off Max Caliber. We love it. We love yo, I came to play. Backhand Pokemon saying see you later. 
We love it. Heat wave's gonna drop here. You outspeed me, first of all. That's wild that you outspeed me. I was not expecting that. But we're still thriving though, because the Jet Punch should be able to finish off Flurry. I think it should. Actually, I'm not too sure. Kinda hurt now that you outsped my pal, because it could have went into a Jet Punch, but I'm not sure if Jet Punch would have KO'd. So I want to make sure we go in the Wave Crash and pick up some big time damage. So, there's that. We get the KO on him, and now Palafin is chilling here. We know Fluttermane has no first turn priority, but we do not have Shen Pao next to us. I still think Jet Punch should be able to pick up KO. Half HP. Come on, Pally. I need you here, Pally. Jet Punch flying here. It picks up the KO. Yo, let's go. Like I said in the beginning of the video, once you get Palafin here for him, he is unstoppable. Nice little comeback victory from us. We lose Articuno and Obama so early, but Palafin and Shen Pao clutch it up. We pull off the ultimate comeback in match number one. Hopefully we can stay hot here and win ourselves another one in match number two. But we're going up against a Cloud Sire team alongside with Trick Room Pokemon like Cresselia, Iron Hands, and Earth's Luna. And then they got two rather fast Pokemon with Urshfu and Fluttermane. I believe Cloud Sire does learn Water Absorb, so we're going to have to watch out for that considering I kind of want to bring in Palafin yet again here. But Iron Hands is going to be great for us, especially if they want to set Trick Room. I can also lead it for fake out purposes. I might just lead it right here. Or I could go into Articuno and... A bomb snow right off the rip right they have no weather control i mean they could fake me out if they decide to go into iron hands which is definitely a possibility but i feel as from here we could just go shen pao arcanine which wouldn't be bad here as well hmm what is my play i'm actually gonna go into iron hands here i'm gonna go iron hands lead and i'm gonna lead palafin so just so i can fake out and then do like a hard swap at the same time it could be good for me. And then in the back end, I could intimidate with Arcanine and have Shen Pao. So we can have a lot of first turn priority, right? Because if they're going to pop Trick Room, we can have Iron Hands to kind of get a little bit of work done. And then on top of that, first turn priority can really be our friend. Because it's a way to counter the Trick Room. Because they're going to have speed on top of us. So I can just go first with my first turn priority moves, such as, such as Jet Punch. We have E-Speed. We have Sucker Punch with Shen Pao, Arcanine, and Palafin. They're going to end up leading... Okay, they're fast Pokemon. So, I'm cool with that, because I can fake out the Urshfu. It's just a free fake out on the Urshfu. And I could hard swap into Arcanine. Do I Arcanine swap here? Is that Dark or Water Urshfu? I can actually check right here. Which is good news. It's a Dark one. Okay, so we could actually hard swap into... We could actually hard swap into what's called Arcanine here. Not a bad swap. Especially with the, uh, the fire typing up against these guys. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Plus, we get off an Intimidate, which is lovely. The big time hard swap coming out from Pally Pally. And we have a Soul Vest, so we should be able to bulk up some shots from Fluttermane as well. We Intimidate. Nice little Intimidate onto the Urshfu. field. he goes for Wicked Close, it's crits anyway. But we're faking it out to get a flinch first turn. And to take off Sash if it is Sash. The Gleam's gonna fly out here. It is going to do a nice chunk of damage onto my onto my iron hands but from here honestly i'm thinking of just rasslizing and just whipping a thunder punch into this thing that's exactly what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do that and i'm gonna just look to close combat and finish off first too that's a play so we're gonna terrasslize the iron hands i know you guys are thinking like yo jeans why you terrasslize the iron hands my thought process is urge food is gonna come after my arcanine and flutter main is just gonna look up look to ko my iron hands with dash and gleam the Terrasalize and Dazzle will not let him KO us. And we get off some big time damage onto Fluttermane. So there's Dazzle Gleam that we should be able to eat up. Beautiful. And Urshfu's gonna double down. Yep. That's fine. Can we eat this? We do not eat that. But that's totally fine. That's totally fine. Maybe we should have just went for uh, an E speed into that. Just to get off some damage. But Thunder Punch is now gonna fly here. It should be able to do a nice chunk of damage. It does. It brings you to 1, which kind of hurts. So we got you down to 1 HP. Um. I think from here we just go Palafin, right? Yeah, I'm just gonna go Palafin. Because I can jet punch Fluttermane. And if he wants to take out Iron Hands, he can take out Iron Hands. But if he doesn't take out Iron Hands, then I drop a Drain Punch. And get back a ton of HP. So I'll go Drain Punch into this slot. And on top of that, this little jet punch across the board here. We'll see how our opponent wants to play this one. We shall see. Because I think they probably have Trick Room users in the back end. But Sucker Punch can come out here and we're able to eat. That is big time. That is a big time eat. Because we KO Fluttermane here. 
I'm sitting on 6 HP. I, I should be able to KO Urshfu here and get back a ton of HP. Let's go. That was big time eats from Iron Hands. Iron Hands with the eats. It's a great tarot type. We actually got a like, decent amount of value out of, out of our tarot type there. The back up to 78 HP. 78, 76. Somewhere around there. Somewhere around there. But I like this. I like this. So chances are they're going Crest and maybe like Ursula. Right? That's what I would think. If that's the case, you might just want to double down on Crest. No, it's going to be Iron Hands. Helpful customer here. Work drive boosting. Work drive boosting. Um. So I would think you would fake me out, right? Hmm. What do I want to do here? I kind of just want to double down the crash. Or we can double down to Iron Hands. I'm going to double down the crash. Wait, Crash can come out here. He's looking just Thunder Punch from KO me. We're doing about half damage. He's gonna, he's gonna KO me. I oh, know you're just attacking. I thought you're popping Trick Room. That's super surprising. I'm actually happy you're not popping Trick Room. The Strain Punch flies here, and you keep my Palafin alive. Wow. You keep my Palafin alive. And that's so big because I can Wave Crash and finish off Crest here. That's so big that you kept my Palafin alive. That's enormous. No Trick Room? You can leave my pal. Maybe you thought I was protecting. I think that was the play. So from here, did they already Terra? They did not. They did not Terrasalize yet. They did not Terrasalize. I'm thinking I'm just staying Wave Crash into that slot. And just Ice Spinnering down you. But you know what? I'm just going to go Throw Chop. I'm going to Throw Chop this slot. And I'm going to Wave Crash this slot. Let's see what he ends up doing. Now comes Throw Chop. Pick up the KO. They did not Terrasalize. The reason I want to Wave Crash into the uh, Iron Hand slot is because it should do more damage. And plus, he might be going down this turn, so I'm looking to just get off as much damage as I can in that slot. And there it is. Bring him down the right, and we are just killing it today. There's Thunder Punch. And that's what they should have done last turn. But I think they, they thought my Palafin was protecting. So we straight up just went after attack. And I really thought they were popping Shurkering, but they didn't. But that's going to be GG's. I'm just going to throw Sucker Punches until this dude cancels or attacks. And there it is. Sucker Punch coming out here. Shen Pao and Palafin in the back end are so OP. I'm loving this combo. Final match on its way. And we're sitting 2-0 and absolutely killing it with Palafin. We're going up against a Trick Room team with Cresselia and Ursuluna, kind of like the last one. And then they're rocking out with Landorus, Thunderous, Heatran, and Amoongus. How should we play this one? Who should we lead? I think Palafin and just getting him out there is going to be a amazing yet again. I love Palafin. I think it's such a cool Pokemon too, especially in the competitive scene, considering we never had anything like this, where if you swap him out, he turns into a different form, which I think they should add more Pokemon like that. It's just super, super cool. I'm a big fan of Palafin. So I'm going to lead Palafin here. I am going to also lead, I think, Articuno here. I think we kind of try to do the same thing as match number one. I think it works out pretty good. We go Palafin. We go Obama Snow, and then in the back end, we go Shin Pao, right? Because we get the hard swap, we get Hero Form right away, and then on top of that, we get the weather going. They have no way of changing weather, plus the ice is going to be pretty good. Super effective onto the, uh, the Ursaluna, the Amoongus, the uh, Thunderous, and the Lando, which I love. And if Heatran wants to opt to Terrasalize in the grass, I'll be super effective that way. So, I really like the Ice Squad. The Icy Squad is where it's at. I don't know. I feel like my camera's really working weird today. The color correction is kind of off. It keeps like bouncing back like to like orangey kind of like tannish to like whitish and just keeps bouncing back and forth. Some days I have that problem, but I think it depends on like what color I'm wearing because it really goes off of that. So maybe I should be more consistent on the colors I'm wearing. Maybe start popping gray hoodie hoodies in every video because I have like 10 of them. But uh, they're going to end up leading who they lead here. Let me see. Heatran and Crest. So I can just definitely see a Terra coming out from Heatran. It is a possibility. Or I can see a Protect coming out from him as well. But I think just Hard Swap and Palafin is going to be the play. I think getting this weather is going to be big. Even though I am scared of the Heat Wave. I am absolutely terrified. Or, or Protect can come out from him. You know, I'm just going to swap. And I'm just going to go into... I'm going into a Sheer Cold. I'm taking out this Crest with it. I'm landing this. This is going to be sick. We're already... You know, I could, I could stay Blizzard. I could just go Blizzard and... And like, 
go for a perfect record, but we're already 2-0. I'm going for sheer cold. We're looking to have some fun in match number three here. And we land it! Let's go! That's big time. That's massive. Getting rid of the crest. Sheer cold on the Articuno. Game rewarded us for having fun. So Heatwave is probably going to fly here. My battery's low. My bomb is probably going to die here, right? Yeah, we're dead to that all day. But yo, sheer cold coming out here. My battery's low. Hold up. For the long time viewers, you guys know I keep it on me. All times. Charger cord. Always plugged in. Ready to go for these purposes. But big time plays from jeans. We love it. But from here, I'm going to go into Palfin. And I might just protect Palfin. Just to see what Heatran wants to do here. And of course you go into Lando. Lando, Lando comes out here. Lando, Lando comes out here. And honestly, I'm just going to go into a wave crash into that thing. I'm sheer cold in the... Uh, I'm going to go for a sheer cold land onto this thing. Onto the heat train. We're having too much fun with this. Yo, if we could land another sheer cold, that'd be insane. So I think that's going to be a heat train tower, right? I really do believe it's going to be a heat train tower. And it is. So that's why I want the sheer cold this side. And wave crash the other one. And he goes... Yo, if I can land this two for two, come on, game. Let me have some fun here. Rock Slide coming in hot here. It's going to do some big time damage on Articuno, but I'm soaking. No flinches. Wave Crash coming in hot here. Can we KO with this? Big time damage. We do KO. We love it. We love it. Land this sheer cold. Land it. Do it, Articuno. Oh, man. That would have been great, but still, I'm happy with the one, especially on a crest. We love it on a crest. So Terra Blast can come out here. And you're going to take out my Palafin. That's fine. That's fine. You can take out my Palafin. Because I can Ice Spinner you down. And I'm going to... I'm hoping I can land another Sheer Cold. I just need one more out of you, Articuno. You can win me this match. Bro, I love landing one hit KOs. It's so satisfying. It's so satisfying. Ursaluna is now going to come out here. Potentially could protect with Guts. And this would be a time where... I probably should have swapped Articuno last turn. Reset everything. Because typing is so good up against everybody here. I'm going to Ice Spinner you down, and I'm going to go for the Sheer Cold into the Ursaluna slot. We're getting after it. I'm on Articuno. Need you here. So Protect comes out from Heatran. I am sashed up, which is good. And we're going to land the Sheer Cold anyway. It's going to be sweet. It's going to be sick. Check this out, guys. Sheer Cold on deck. Bang. Oh, come on, Articuno. Now I need you. I need you now. I need one more from you. EQ's flying. That's fine. That's fine. You have no first turn priority. You have not one first turn priority. That's doing some damage. So he's going to Guts Trigger here. I need to Sheer Cold that. I'm going to Ice Spinner you. Look to just finish you off. And look to Sheer Cold you. I'm coming after you. We're doing the same thing. We don't need Terrasalize. There's no point of terroring, right? Ice Spinner's going to fly. This should KO. Shen Pao hits like an absolute truck. And it does not. Can you land a sheer cold? You do. I love you, Articuno. Ripping. Ripping. I am actually scared of this heat wave. Because if heat wave lands, I have to land another sheer cold. Especially on the Shen Pao. Heat wave's dodge. Dodge a Shen Pao. Dodge a Shen Pao. Oh, <laughs> the one Pokemon. I need to dodge it. Oh, man. All right. Looks like we got to land one more sheer cold. We have to land one more. Can Articuno do it? Can he go three? Three in one match? Our opponent would be so upset. I got four left. We might be able to eat up one heat wave. We could dodge move too. But I'm land a sheer cold right here. I got full trust in my Articuno. Right here. For the win. For the three no perfect record. Sheer cold. Oh, come on, man. I needed that. <laughs> Can he eat up a heat wave? Give me another chance. Can you give me another chance here? You cannot. That hurts, yo. Landing two sheer colds and losing it. Heat Chan is super bulky, which is very, very good for him able to eat up the ice spinner but we definitely should have swapped Articuno earlier and be able to reset its choice specs two in one video for you guys absolutely love this team swapped out palafin in all three matches and had it go into the back end just cleaning everything up Articuno and Obama Snow were so much fun to use and then Shen Pao obviously so good with Iron Hands and Arcanine as other Pokemon for variety for this team but that third and final battle was so much fun land sheer colds twice 
super super fun whenever you land him it's always a nice little adrenaline rush but we ended up losing that one definitely should have swapped my articuno to bring you guys that perfect record because if i could have went into blizzard later in the match it would have been gg easy no problem no problem whatsoever but guys that is gonna be it for today's video if you did enjoy the content don't forget to smash that like button for me and if you're new here click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live seriously you guys rock out make sure you spend some positive today and i'll catch you on the next one peace out everybody